So lately in the gaming industry, it seems like you've heard a lot more in terms of merger and acquisition talk, especially when you look at companies like Sony and Microsoft, with of course one of the most notable gaming acquisitions in history going down being the Microsoft Activision Blizzard merger. But one company that you don't see participate in that a whole lot is Nintendo. And you may remember previously on the channel, we actually reported that Nintendo made an interesting investment into a company by the name of DNA with the intention to build out some kind of branch of their business that they didn't have up to that point in time. And that day is now here because Nintendo has recently pulled back the curtain on what this company will be and a loose description around what kind of projects and end consumer functionality they will be working on for the company. And in today's video, we need to go over all the exact detail of Nintendo Systems, which is the new joint adventure between Nintendo and DNA, and break down and discuss what, if anything, this means for the future of Nintendo's broader plans when we talk about them transitioning off of their most successful console of all time, which of course is the Nintendo Switch that we love today, and talk about what they could be leaning into in the future, whether that be with new hardware hardware or just some brand new wacky Nintendo idea that we haven't thought of at all and we need to get on the same page with all of it right now. What's up nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Summer Nation by subscribing below. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. As I mentioned guys, today we are discussing Nintendo and a recent investment that was interesting that we did talk about on the channel when it first happened and now the joint venture and confirmation that Nintendo and DNA are working on a project together known as Nintendo Systems and it's actually a new branch of the company, which makes it very interesting in terms of how Nintendo is restructuring and reinvesting their dollars that they are making hand over fist at the moment with a very successful console generation with the Nintendo Switch, establishing services like Nintendo Switch Online, which are monthly and yearly reoccurring revenue for the company. And we're even seeing them dabble into the movie world with the Super Mario Bros. movie, which is out this week, which is hard to believe. Super Nintendo World theme park opening opening up in multiple locations now, not only being in Japan, but also in LA at the moment. And we're even seeing Nintendo tiptoe into that controversial $70 retail price for first party releases with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And so yes, there is a lot of unknown when you think about where they go from here. And while the company description of what Nintendo systems will be is not 100% clear at this point in time, there are still some descriptions out there that we need to go over and really talk about what this could mean for the broader plan of Nintendo, their own headquarters, and how they are reinvesting their own funds into the company to stay competitive in this rapidly changing technology entertainment landscape. And to get on the same page with all of the details of what's been claimed here, let's quickly hop over to VGC and read through their detailed typed up article together. Nintendo and mobile firm DNA launched joint venture Nintendo systems. The new company aims to create new systems and services to deliver in entertainment. The two companies announced in November that they were forming a new subsidiary company that would be 80% owned by Nintendo and would open in April 2023. The company Nintendo Systems is now up and running as of today and its own corporate website has launched. Set in Tokyo, Nintendo Systems site describes the company's roles as development and operation of systems related to the digital part of Nintendo's business and planning development and operation of new services. The company's president is Tetsuya Sasaki, if I'm saying that right, who joined Nintendo in 1995 as a software engineer for its EAD division. Sasaki's main roles have been programming support. In the past, he's contributed to the likes of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, Mario Kart DS, Wii Sports, and Animal Crossing Wild World. He also programmed the Wii U and 3DS internet browsers. A statement on the site says Nintendo Systems was born in April 2023, led by a team of engineers from Nintendo and DNA to create a system that facilitates the delivery of Nintendo's entertainment to our customers. 
Amidst the many technological innovations in the world, while valuing the spirit of originality and flexibility, members with various strengths engage in lively discussion and work faithfully to create systems with the aim of achieving great results that cannot be achieved by one person alone. The technology surrounding the internet is changing at a dizzying pace and increasing in complexity every day. In this context, Nintendo systems will leverage the relationship of trust between Nintendo and DNA that has been nurtured through a partnership of seven years to create new innovation for the world driven by Nintendo's originality and DNA's knowledge of technology. So while that description doesn't exactly say what Nintendo is working on with this, some people are jumping to the conclusion that it's all based on their next-gen hardware plans because it's called Nintendo Systems. I definitely don't think it's necessarily that. In fact, I think that Nintendo's probably a lot further along with whatever the next-gen Nintendo Switch is, whether they call it Switch 2, Super Nintendo Switch, they're probably in the final phases of planning. And this seems like a brand new, longer-term plan for them to create some kind of unified custom Customer interface, if you will, that will maybe exist on multiple systems. We might be talking about something that could be implemented with Switch 2, but that integrates with your smartphone and your PCs. Maybe it's just more of a connection focused technology to keep you more hooked into Nintendo account system on various different devices. Who knows what exactly they will be tackling, but DNA's area of expertise is definitely more on the mobile side of things, which leads me to believe maybe Nintendo has some bigger plans, not just with releasing more mobile Nintendo games that they probably will because those seem to be decent money makers for the amount of effort that Nintendo puts into them. This could likely tailspin into numerous different projects just to try to keep Nintendo competitive, whether that be something with VR or AR technology with mobile smartphones, as we've seen numerous patents filed for technology similar to that, or it could be Nintendo trying to stay competitive in the AI market that we find ourselves in where AI is doing a lot of the jobs that programmers are doing. They may want to get ahead of some of that type of technology and with Nintendo and the wacky ideas that they can come up with and when they fund them, you never really know what to expect. But at the end of the day, it seems to be consumer focused and a way to easily get Nintendo's entertainment in front of the eyeballs of more and the same consumers in a more easy and seamless way way utilizing DNA's expertise with mobile technologies. So that's all we know at this point in time. It's interesting to see how Nintendo invests their dollars into their companies as opposed to trying to do that merger and acquisition strategy and bringing in outside brands under Nintendo's umbrella, they very much prefer to stick to, no pun intended, their own company DNA and try to grow organically within as we've seen them do things recently like expand Nintendo HQ and the workforce that will be showing up there and naturally growing within their own walls as opposed to shopping around on the market for different game developers and this DNA joint partnership is another step in how they are trying to organically grow and invest in themselves as opposed to straight up acquiring different companies because they've had a long-term trusting working relationship with DNA and that is why they are choosing to create this joint adventure which is known as Nintendo Systems. So we will have to wait and see what ultimately comes from this. I will definitely keep somewhat of an eye on their corporate website to see if there are any official projects announced over the next year or two but at the very least we know that Nintendo is doing some interesting things behind the scenes in Tokyo and is investing in themselves once again with the very unique position that they find themselves in in the current market and landscape off the back of an extremely successful console generation. So hopefully it is all good news for us Nintendo Switch gamers and just Nintendo gamers as a whole at the end of the day. But I really want to hear from you guys at this point in the video. What, if anything, you think this means for the future of our end experience as Nintendo gamers going forward? Do you think this is a broader plan to implement some kind of new technology on the Switch successor? Do you think it's more focused on mobile phones and that kind of technology? Do you think it's some kind of crazy branch of the company that might actually be developing from the ground up new technologies that Nintendo will implement in some kind of Nintendo way like they do? Or do you think that there's just not much that we can really go off of at this point in time? And maybe it's not that big of a story currently, but regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today, I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video, as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Go watch yesterday's video next if you haven't already, which is on screen right now. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.